Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA for a discount at checkout. They have the cheapest coins on the internet and they also do comfort trade which is 100% reliable. They do Xbox and Playstation and as you can see guys, by the prices here you can tell that they are definitely the cheapest out there. Also guys, if you want any information on how it works, go on the how it works section and they'll be sure to help you in any way. They also have 24 hour support though they're able to help you at any point during the day. Hey guys, we're going to do a brand new video of how to trade with 500k plus on FIFA Ultimate Team. So, um, you've seen this series go from 1 to 5k, or 1 to, yeah, 1 to 5k, 5 to 10k, 10 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 250, and now the 500k one is the final one, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little series. I like doing this every year, like, I think over the last 3 or 4 FIFAs I've done this. It's a nice little thing to do, and um, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it yourselves. I mean, I don't know if you have, but let me know down below if you have. And guys, let me know what you want to see this series. I'm going to start a little series, see maybe like a um, little live trading like episode each day or something like that. Just something a little bit different. Maybe as you get into like November time. So you've got some ideas down below of what you want to start seeing. But here we go, guys. 500k of how to trade with is going to be pretty simple so you want to either do this for here so you want to snipe icons which you've seen before i'm not going to go over it again go and watch the other videos gold team of the weeks in the prem at the moment are uh, one of those methods that are still struggling at the moment i can't quite get the filter there going it's getting up there though now looks like 11k nearly so it's starting to get there so we'll ignore that still at the moment but a really good one at the moment he's just sniping standard players like players like Diego Carlos and players like this so I mean we'll go here with Diego Carlos if we can find him 83 rated I think he's about 50k something like that he's around that's, he's even gone up more because of which Jesus Christ because of weekend 59k now it might be glitched here because the market's stupid on their console look 57 there I don't know exactly what he goes for but we'll check by doing this um to 57k um 59k we'll go f i think 58 and a half could be the play um to tell him that yeah it is so we'll try and slam here 3k tax let's so say 55 and a half we'll go 53 and a half and see if any do come up so we're going to start here now with searching carlos i only do this for a little bit like I can't sit here and ages on just one method. I'm going to try and show you three methods in this final video here that you can do some good um, trading here. So the first one is this. Just finding a certain player around 50 to 60k and just sniping them. Obviously, at the moment, there might not be any deals up. But do this in peak times like 6pm, 7pm, 8pm. On days where people are selling cards. And don't do it on days like Wednesday. I'm um, not Wednesday. Wednesdays are okay. Do it on, like... Because obviously there's no weekend league, so it'll be okay maybe as of the weekend and onwards. Because at the moment, um, it's a little bit difficult because people are already selling their teams. Like, what's the point in them selling their teams? So that's the first one. The second one is going to be the icon minimum filter. If you didn't see the video of this, I'll show you again just quickly because I did make a video on it. But I know a lot of you maybe don't watch this certain video. Like, literally half, I think 90% of people aren't subbed to the channel, which is just crazy. So, um, if you are new guys, feel free to drop a sub. I mean, it would be appreciated as well on this end. But not only that, it will also help you guys out um, in the long run because you get loads of different trading methods, all different ways to make extra coins or make a load of coins even, like different ways obviously to do that. I do try and make two videos every day at the moment, which is um, why like basically every video is just a grind at the moment. I'm just trying to get out everything for you guys to enjoy because um, I already do like making videos and helping people trade. Um, so hopefully you are enjoying this i mean if you are let me know and i will keep bringing out two videos a day um but you can see that like, gig just came up a minute ago but nothing else really coming up at the moment so um we'll go on to the final method which i'm going to show you s yeah he's at maximum there yeah it's pointless um so the final method i'm going to show you is one yeah yeah it's a less coin method but it's one of them that it's always good to do so um you want to go over here to the um gold rare section and then go with shadow and center back um and just going here at like two and a half k maybe yeah they have dropped a little bit so maybe like 2.2 2.4 maybe it could even be still up it's still up at two set like one one jesus christ there we go see what i mean perfect example it's one of these methods that are cheap but you know you've like spent all your coins on an expensive card just sit here and do this for a little bit like i mean let's say two five there's one up again here look come on Conate or someone there's just so many that come up though it is just quite a constant thing and um 
it's quite a consistent method in terms of profit um, as well, which is always a good thing. Like you always want to be had a method. I mean, if you go Defender 2.5, but you can see, and oh, that was a really good deal actually for Lister. I didn't bother buying it though because I thought it wouldn't be. But you can see here 2.9, maybe go 2.7 and just check. So then just go 2.5, and everything's guaranteed a profit. But you might just want to take like 100 coins profit because you've got so many coins now, it doesn't matter how much you're making per card because obviously you're going to have the space. As long as you don't fill your transfer list up, Bell was for 2k. See what I mean? There's just loads of them like consistently coming up now because more people have got their cards sorted, like everyone's built teams, and then people start selling the players, forgetting they put like cards on them, stuff like that. And we'll do like another five searches and we'll end it there, guys. But thanks so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like. Obviously, as well, if you are new, please do subscribe. Like, obviously, it'd be really appreciated. It really helps me out as well. Let's see if we can end on a high. No, we can't, but you can see there are loads of different deals coming up.